Hello, coming to you from Monticello, Minnesota at uh, the first Tesla superchargers in Minnesota with Magic Dock. I've got my BZ4X, it's the Toyota, be charging with CCS. Uh, you can see here that 72%, so I don't really need much of a charge. Uh, from that I got what 67 miles but I'm on my way up north and Monticello just happens to be an ideal place to stop it's this other camera here you can see we're at Cub it's a real nice setup uh, I have not set up the app yet but I have a Tesla account so we're just gonna kind of see what happens here Let's see if I can film and set up at the same time here. I'll open up the app. Tesla. Make a couple print screens here to share. Charge my non-Tesla. Searching. It says I'm in Monticello. On the way up to northern Minnesota. I click on that. It says there's eight stalls available because I'm here all alone. I am at 2D. It's the best one I could find for getting as close as I possibly could with the short cord. Uh, I want to charge here. It says it's 49 cents per kilowatt. Get started. All right, unlock the adapter. Start charging. All right, so it says, choose which one, I'm at 2D. So choose that one. Got it selected. Get started. All right, to charge your non-Tesla. Add payment method. To add my credit card. Like others have pointed out, it'd be nice if we had Google Pay. But I can do it the old fashioned way and just literally type in my card. So you're seeing the setup process. on the fly here. So I already had an account, but there was no payment attached to it. It was just literally just some type of ID. All right, almost there. And All right, credit card information has been entered we have to look through terms of services of course scroll all the way down looks good go back to the app by continuing I allow to save my method, yes. And it's not letting me click the save. Oh, we're gonna put my name in here too. Picky, picky, picky. All right, I guess that wasn't so hard. Name, credit card number, expiration date, uh, CVV value, and zip code. Hit save. Credit card added. Payment method is on the screen now. Gotta enter billing address, of course. Three. This is definitely worth it because I use EVGO and that is once you get it set up that's just plug and play too you don't have to do anything uh 
anything else once it recognizes the vehicle. Okay, so billing address entered. I'm at 2D update billing profile. Confirm that's all good. Submit. There we go. It says charging fee is 49 cents per kilowatt. Uh, it's got my payment method, just my MasterCard. I'm at 2D. Grab this other camera here. I'm at 2D. Uh, you can see I'm all good to go here. Unlock adapter. And I'll see if I can do that. There's the magic dock. Will it reach? Yes, just barely. Click that in there. Uh, the vehicle's actually still on, so I'll be able to see what charging rate I'm going to get here. Wait for it to connect. The message uh, instruction says could take up to two minutes. It says can't connect. Shut off the vehicle. Try again here. There we go. All right, let's see. Payment method added, just confirming while I wait here. Go back to the app. See if I can get this session to go. Wouldn't it be the end of the world trying it over again here? There we go, no car detected. So I will try again, leaving it plugged in, I won't even bother pulling it out. Try again. Start charging. I may have to put the adapter back in and start over. All right, trying again here. 2D. Unlock adapter. I can hear it click, push, pull. And with your, my hands full. Still managed to connect it there. Wait for it to acknowledge. It's green. Don't know if you can see that or not. Probably first time I had a problem was because the vehicle was still on. Now it's off. I'm going to check my own app. Toyota app. I've heard others make the comment where it says it didn't start and it really did. Uh, let's see here. It says it's charging on the app. And I see my credit card got pre-billed. Hello. And let's see. I am pulling a rate of 21 right now since I was at 72%. That's not too bad. Uh, I see I have a Rivian here that's going to try the same thing here. He'll be... Happy to see that I'm successful. We're good. That's it. That wasn't too long. It was a little cumbersome sitting up for the first time here, but uh, it worked just fine. All right, checking in. It's been, looks like about 30 minutes. Got really talkative with uh, the Rivian owner here. He wanted to see my vehicle and I got him Set up with the charging. Uh, let's see, if I look at my stats, I'm at 84% and the draw is down to 13, which is no surprise. That's about right for when it gets above 80. Let's see what my charging here. Okay, my charge status on the Tesla app is $3.92. 
and I pulled 8.271 kilowatts so it's still going just fine um, I'm at 84 percent just let it go a little bit more just to see what happens but uh, it works this is uh, this is everything we needed and now I see uh, <laughs> the ultimate here is uh, a Tesla coming in with the trailer.